Hi guys, it's me Eliza and I'm here with Mia, Nami, and now we are the team Angel's Burger. So, first we're going to talk about the Under My in Invisible Umbrella. So, Under My Invisible Umbrella by Laurel Fontauzo is an essay that talks about the ethnic inequality here in the Philippines. So, the essay began when the Filipino serving the author by keeping her dry with an umbrella. So, just to keep her warm, the one who served her was soaked in the rain. So, let's start with some scene that mark our minds, our memories. So, guys, here, here are some situations in the story. So, one is when the author entered in the exclusive university, the girl just smiled and tipped his hat to her. Well, the locals came, they had to sign at the logbook be before they enter. You got treated unfairly by your own kagbabaye, and what a shame, right? So, next one is during in a live and crowded theater where the locals have to be checked by the guards while the author crosses a restricted area without getting checked. Some experiences were the reasons why the author's belief changed and the reason why they are creating this kind of or writing this kind of literatures. And another situation is how funny when it's normal for locals to eat at some carinderia while they're so amused when they see foreigners eating lunch at some cheap carinderias. And lastly, when local cab drivers don't extra charge Filipinos, but when their passenger is a foreigner, they usually ask for more than the usual fare, thinking all foreigners are rich. As you can see, Filipinos treat them differently because they used to their perspective that foreigners are more superior or more important than their own countrymen which is not only by appearance, but also their, the wealth of them and their country. Laurel Fantazo is a writer and a teacher. Much of her work finds her studying appetites, identity, the signals for real love, and the search for hope. She is largely a non-fiction writer and an essayist, but she also writes young adult fiction. So, she wanted to be treated like a normal Filipino. Her experience where her mother doesn't want them to learn some Tagalog make her more strong to face what she wants in life, and that is to cope up with these countries, so she still tried her best to do so. So, her experiences make her point of view in life that we should treat it equally. Viewpoints are dictated by the specific situation, data, history, and so forth. One of one viewpoints might be communicated with respect to example, a character in the story is a confounded articulation stage that would zero in completely on the situation in which they are and how the story's plot will move. By learning about the year of work, was written and published, we can gain more understanding by acknowledging about the details linked to a certain resemblance or a phenomena occurring that can relate to a certain published work. Um, it is not often important to know the author's background. What matter is generally the book, how well it's written, how interesting the story is, how believable the character are, or so on. Because when it's well written, you can see that the author and character may have some similarities. But on the other hand, it is important to know both character and the author's life as well. Because what if they don't have similarities but an author makes such, such work like that? So it is important to know the life of an author to know how and where she got courage to make her character in that way. And lastly, if you know both of it, you can understand and feel the story more. The ideals and convictions of authors can also affect their text. Examples and facts representing their personal viewpoint on a subject are likely to be selected by the authors. It will help you to understand why specific choices were made by focusing on the requirements and limitations faced by a specific writer. Writers are not only simply 
reflecting and interpreting life, educating and influencing life. The fate of a writer is often expressed in society or in the world through his or her interpretation. And most importantly, they also provide inspiration and guidance. By learning about the year a work was written and published, we can gain more understanding by acknowledging about the details linked to a certain resemblance or a phenomena occurring that can relate to a certain published work. For me, a character in a story whose interests, motives, perceptions, and struggles are crucial to the creation of the story is a major character. And because we're a huge fan of women empowerment, I'd characterize my character as powerful, courageous woman, a woman who dreams and believes. Therefore, we conclude that the writer is concerned with the hierarchies and politics associated with her whiteness because, because there is a misconception that the lack of whiteness has made it difficult to understand the concept of race and it makes them seem less powerful even before having different skin color makes you afraid of how people will treat you. So this story is helping everyone to understand that the skin tone shouldn't be a basis of how you treat people. Instead, the basis should be how people act and behave. So once again, I'm Eliza, Mia, Nami, and we are the Angel's Burger. So I hope that we hope that you learned something and see you next time.